from like 12 to 15, I had really, really bad acne. It's the kind of acne where you watch a black pill video and then you feel suicidal. I was also so skinny that if the wind blew a little too hard, I'm pretty sure I would just enter creative mode. I always wanted to get rid of it and then my dream came true. I went to the dermatologist and I got some pills and I took the pills and it all worked. The acne went away. But after it went away, I stopped taking the pills because the acne is gone and the acne all came back. I watched so many videos trying to find something that worked. But really, I just needed a guy to stare at me in the face and tell me the simple fact that the way you look is simply a reflection of your lifestyle. For like the last two years of high school, my sleep was so bad. I was averaging like five or six hours every night. And my diet was worse. I think my daily caloric intake if you like track all the calories would be in the three digits. And the acne was just a symptom of this like malnutrition lifestyle. The pills fixed the acne but not the lifestyle. So when I stopped taking the pills, the effects of the lifestyle came back. So there is no shortcut, you have to change your lifestyle. So here's what I did. I exercise every day. I have a little home gym and I do a lot of calisthenics. Bars. Get it? Because like, never mind. I do some sort of exercise every day. If it's not the gym, then I'm outside running or playing a sport. You must physically exert yourself every day. Even a walk will do. For diet, I just eat whatever my grandma cooks for me, <laughs> which is usually just like traditional Chinese food, and that's pretty healthy. I've literally eaten fast food like six times this year, and we're already six months into the year, so that's once a month. That's pretty good. I spend time outside soaking in vitamin D and touching grass and hugging trees and fucking your mom. I meditate every day, whether it be just 5 minutes or 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. I meditate every day so I can practice on my breathing. Like, you're probably breathing very, very shallow breaths right now. So just take a moment. Just breathe with me for a second. Take like two breaths with me, right? Breathe in. Number two. That's how you should be breathing all the time. Breathe into your balls, bro. <laughs> And I sleep a lot. And what I realized is that it doesn't really matter what time you wake up as long as that time is consistent every day. So if you're going to wake up at like 9 a.m., that's fine. Just make sure you wake up at 9 a.m. every single day. The consistency is really what matters when it comes to sleep. That's what your body craves. And when you give your body what you want, after six months of doing all these habits, adding habits as I went along, I feel a lot better now. But that doesn't mean my skin is fixed forever. I can literally see the difference. Like a couple days ago, I was recording a video and I didn't get much sleep, right? And when I woke up the next morning, I could feel that my skin was not as smooth as normal. And then two days later, when I'm back on my sleep schedule, the skin fixed itself. The thing is, you didn't need me to give you that list because you know what's good for your health and you know what's not good for your health. That's why glow up videos never really worked for me. It's common sense what we should do, it's just that we have the wrong mindset about it. We all want the quick fix, the product, the perfect routine, or the medication. I'm not trying to sell you a product, I didn't use like some sort of cream for my face, I don't even have a skincare routine. There is no shortcut, you have to live a natural and active life. Because let's say there was a shortcut, even if there was a cream you could put on, or a pill you could swallow and it fixed your skin and everything, you would still be unhealthy. Your lifestyle still sucks. Like, would you rather look healthy, but not actually be healthy, or be healthy, but not actually look healthy? I think it's a no-brainer. All of us would rather just be healthy. But we can have both. We can look healthy and be healthy, but why not prioritize the health first? I know in this video, I mainly talked about skin because that was like my insecurity for a very long time. But this advice also works with anything about your body that you want to improve. It all comes down to your health. So if you look into the mirror and you're unhappy with how your body looks, that is a physical indicator of your choices over the past couple months. If you pick the right choices when it comes to your health, your body would reward you with such. And if you haven't, you can tell. So I think what 14 year old me needed the most was the mindset shift. Stop consuming media about trying to look healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. But why not prioritize just being healthy? Because when you are, Everything else you want, including the looks, just seem to fall into place. Take action.